Um, the other one is just a little bit more context. I know we have some uh, parents who might be a little, uh, you know, who asked uh, to provide a little bit context to the uh, to the state report card. I know that you know the uh, the numbers are a little bit lower than previous years, and I think you know uh, whether it's COVID learning loss or you know some of the tests are taken in the fall rather than the spring, so combine that with summer, uh, you know, uh, students. Uh, uh, some learning loss in the summer as well. We could provide some context on uh, on that and kind of what the you know I think we were on a good trajectory before eighty percent of students eighty three percent of students graduate in four years and a third of students are high math and growing like growth. I just wanted to get your take on um, some of the assessment numbers that have come in. Great, great. Quickly on compensation, um, we didn't spend a ton of time on it. I hit a couple of high points, but this task force that's coming forward will recommend comp changes. And again, we'll target a ton of, of extra money, bonus money, if you will, on communities. We're going to fix regionalization. There will be an overall recommendation to move off of the implicit price deflator to CPI, undoubtedly. And we might take that up. Um, for context, I want to just share our teacher salaries in this state have grown 31% in the last five years. It's the fastest rate of any state in the country. Our average teacher salary is approaching 90,000. Our starting average, I believe, is at 50 or something. We've got work to do. And there's some places that that's still really challenging. Uh, but there's been incredible progress. We intend to make more. So I appreciate the question, Kevin, because I didn't mention earlier. There will still be a big push for overall comp increases um, but what we're trying to layer on top of that is how do we create the incentive to, to move as much talent as we can in the places that need it the most. Uh, but that is definitely part of that, that conversation, including, uh, honestly, some building level administration comp fixes that we need. When you jump cert salaries 31% in five years, you create a compression on the building level administrator. And they're saying like, why do I want that pain and suffering <laughs> for the marginal difference, right? Now there's quite a jump when you go to become a state super or, or not a state. We know that's underpaid. Uh, there's a big jump when you go to become a district suit, but that building level administrator is under a lot of compression right now. So we're gonna try to address that in our recommendation as well. And then on the report card context, I really love that framing that you did. Um, we're always open to doing more. I'm really pressing my team right now to tell a more comprehensive story of what we mean when we do assessments, because the whole world keeps pounding on this thing and they, and they get it so wrong. When you graduate 80,000 kids a year and virtually all of them end up in post-secondary or in the labor market earning 14 to 20 bucks an hour, you just became the second highest ranking state in the nation in economic activity. We're number six in livability. Like we're doing a lot right here. But if all you did was look at smarter balance scores, you'd say, well, some students are a four and some are a three and some are a two and some are a one. And boy, doesn't that look terrible because people want to think of it as an A through D or an A through F grading scale. And it's just not that. Think of a four or a three as I'm going to college and I don't need a remedial course and think of a two as I'm still going to college, but I might need a little extra help in math or ELA. Um, we don't talk about that. And I'm asking my team to put context around what those mean. I'm asking them to show me what the scale score change was. So imagine we have 10% of our students who are at the very bottom of that three scale pre-pandemic. And now everyone took a little bit of a hit and they did. And now more kids are a two. Well, we've got folks who run around and say, now 50% of our kids are failing. It's so wrong and so dishonest to say that. What it means is 10% of our kids might have slipped three or 5% compared to the same kids, fourth graders, three years ago at that time. So we've got a lot of context to do. We've got to start talking about what it means in the, in the larger scope. And obviously, you know, it's time to start saying, isn't it interesting that despite people sort of bludgeoning us from the right wing over false sort of framing of test scores, higher ed's never believed in them. <laughs> higher ed's never accepted that smarter balance means anything to them. In fact, they've now dumped SAT, ACT in most places. They're into transcript evaluation. What classes did you take? Are you passionate? Do you have a commitment to learning? Do you have self-discipline? Like the things that have always mattered to employers in the world still matter. And the thing we keep experimenting with tests Smarter balance, and of course, the wassail that keeps coming and going because it actually means nothing except to the people who want to beat up public education and they frame it wrong every time. 
And we're, we contribute to that with this simple four, three, two, one scale. It's really, really broken. It's why most states have abandoned this stuff. Uh, we're still clinging to the consortium of Smarter Balance. I don't know how much longer that should last. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I have the authority to exit us on my own or if that needs something else. Um, but we've got to have a smarter conversation to contextualize, like you said in the report card, what it means for student achievement outside of a 4321 test score. In, in the future, we'd love to have some context as opposed to just here's some sets of numbers that kind of contradict each other if you kind of are, are reading through and trying to figure it out, especially for um, especially for parents who don't have this context. Thanks. Thank you.